Lion King. That should yeah. be the intro right there. <laughs> Mark and Brendan, Joe and Steve, clear for takeoff, talking about things and talk. Meet and greets. Everyone's always wanted to meet their heroes. Recently, it's come to my attention that there is a band out there. The singer, you know, looking for a little extra cash for whatever reason, is charging about $80 for an autographed Polaroid of the said fan and the singer together. It is not of the whole band. It is just of the singer. What's everyone's thoughts on that? Have you ever met your heroes? Have you... Done a meet and greet? Have you had to pay for it? I mean, I've never done a meet and greet, I don't think. Neither have I. I have no? not. I've, nope. I've witnessed one. Actually, we witnessed one with a, a band we played with. Oh, yeah. yeah. We played with Action Item. Action, Action Item. item. Oh, yeah. those guys. Cool. Yeah. We witnessed a, a meet and greet like right before the I show started. They it was like pay hours for it, though. I they think it was if you were part of their fan club. And then we also, we went to Warped Tour. And we did participate. Well, you participated. Actually, I did participate. You participated in the meet and, meet and greet. So well, you're who? lying. And I, I didn't well, do it like appropriately either. I just no. kind of snuck in. Who yeah. was it? It was uh, We the Kings. With uh, me and Charles Trippy. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all, right. all <laughs> the whole, it was like 50 girls. And I just kind of like got in there. <laughs> yeah. I went to a signing before at Warped Tour. I think they thought I was just like with one of them. Or That's something. how I met one of my heroes. Yeah. Who's that? Sugar Cult. I went to the signing, and I actually had an old CD of theirs. Like, I was like, you know what? I'll get their first CD signed. So I bought one of their first CDs. Tim held up the line for, like, ten minutes because nice. he was just looking at it. He was like, you care if I look at this for a little bit? I was like, no, nah, dude, cool. <laughs> I think it really depends on uh, the person, meaning the, the fan and who the artist is, too. Like I've I've met some uh, I've gone to concerts and ended up meeting famous people. It's always been just by chance. I've never paid like extra for a meet and greet. Not that I don't think I've really gone to many that have that option. But I know you see nowadays like whenever you go to those ticket websites, um, you always have like there's the the regular ticket, the then there's like the the VIP package, which isn't always VIP. Sometimes it's just like a gated off area with a private porta potty. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. Two dollars off. Two dollars off, you have that once? $2 yeah. off your your beer. What, but what what concert was that for, Brendan? I went to see Blink One Eight Two, and I got the VIP whatever package. You tried to go backstage. Tried to go backstage. The guy was like, "Whoa, no, 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 no! You go over there." And it was like a <laughs> an extra bar for VIP people that the bands were not in there. Or anything. Yeah. But anyway. and like and I've and I've seen like you can get those ticket packages that are like like I said they're base ticket and the VIP which isn't always VIP like I said and then like. For like a hundred fifty extra, you get like a private photo session with the person. You know, especially I've really only seen it for like really big band. I remember Aerosmith one time. I was looking at tickets on their website, and there was actually different packages where you could meet individual people in the band. Like you pay hundred dollars, you get to meet the drummer, and you pay two hundred, you get to meet the drummer <laughs> and the guitarist. It sounds like serious. a Kickstarter it's, it, where it's like it really, you pay this much, yeah. you get you, this. But what's you pay this much, much, you get this. What's, what's awful then about for the band members is then, the then band they're members? ranked based yeah. on <laughs> how much people would pay to see me. Oh like, well, God. I can only name. I think I can name three people in Aerosmith. I got one. So, <laughs> do you guys, Tyler, you guys yeah. want all five? Joe Perry, Steven Tyler, Joe Perry, Hamilton. Brad Base? Hamilton. Brad Hamilton. And that's a president. <laughs> oh, you th I knew it was a, it a Hamilton. president. It's on the $10 bill. Brad Hamilton's the bassist, yeah. right? Brad Hamilton. Um, okay. Tom Whitford. Oh, that. Oh, Anthony. I was oh. Like, and Anthony. then oh, and right. Joey Kramer is the I'm drummer. Holy crap. So, there were tiers that you could meet each of them. And <laughs> so all I remember who was is the that the, drummer was the, the drummer was the lowest and Steven Tyler was the highest. Ah, oh, so, see, oh, I'd rather meet Joe Perry. I've only ever met somebody famous like just by chance there you know like they come out if, especially if it's an opening band you never know, been to a they meet just, and greet they i've never I've, no i've never gone to that's not true i did a Ooh. pre sorry it was it was a not, second lie of the day <laughs> <laughs> at one time i um for it was free though um a couple years ago i saw flogging molly in baltimore and then earlier in the day before the show they did like a signing at um a record store there you go. in the city. So I did do that once, but I've never paid for it. Yeah. I totally forgot about I that. I witnessed one. one when we played we played Charm City Music Festival with Weezer and Flogging Molly and, and I was backstage and they had the meet and greet and the picture with Weezer. 
And I remember... You guys get to do it? The, well, we didn't do it, but I was back there just, like, talking to a bunch of band members, and I remember this... Uh, this girl like jumped the line and went to get with the guys in Weezer and she was ejected. Like yeah. thrown at least at least out of the backstage area. Just she was like carted up. off. <laughs> yeah. Whoosh. Like a Muppet. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I I've oh, never no. I've never had a meet and greet before. I've met people, you know, who I appreciate. Yeah. But how much is there a band that you would pay like X amount of dollars to meet or an artist? Ooh. Like, totally all for musicians getting, like, their fair share of money because, like, let's face it, the world we live in, you can go on a torrent site and download any band's music for the no, most part. No, you can't. Except, <laughs> what do you mean, no, you can't? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're just telling them that. <laughs> Have you never heard of Napster? <laughs> Check it out. You'll dig it. So I, I get the purpose of, like, extra things like meet and greets or autograph signings or... Like, you know, get to hang out with the band for the day and go, like, to lunch and stuff like that. So I think that stuff's really cool. Would, would you pay to do it? Would you go on um, a date with... For your favorite musician? For your favorite band? Yes or no? Like, do I... Would you do no, it? No, I wouldn't do you it. Would not pay. No? You I would, wouldn't do it. You would never pay to do it? <laughs> I wouldn't pay to do it, no. All right. Would I, don't, I don't know. It, it, Dave Grohl, would you Dave pay? Dave Grohl, I would pay... So All right. Do maybe there's some I don't, people... I don't think I would pay as maybe much as I did for, like... I would, actually. Billy Joe Armstrong, maybe. See? Maybe Dave Grohl. But then there's something to be said for Andrew feels, McMahon. Not, it never feels... But any, do you feel entitled as if you buy a concert ticket? Do you feel like, I should see them? I get to meet them? Because a lot of people do. I think You'd you have to surprised. realize like you're one of so many people who came exactly. to that show. Would so. you pay money to hang out with Hollywood Hulk Hogan for the day? Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Absolutely. <laughs> Wouldn't any of you? Macho Man, if he was still living. Macho rest Man, in peace. may he rest in peace. And slip With Jim the rock. Man. And thank uh, god he stopped the rapture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would definitely pay to, to hang out with the rock. for The, the rock? Whoa! <laughs> 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 All right, I smell it. I smell it. Do you smell? Here's the thing, though. It, it always feels, whenever you have those like chance encounters rather than paying for it, it always feels so much more. Obviously, it feels way natural, more yeah. natural and organic. Like there was this one time I didn't really get to talk to them, but I was out at some restaurant really late, um, and I was leaving, and I saw there was like a Wendy's across the street, and there was a, a giant tour bus parking. This was in Columbia, and I was trying to remember, think of like well, who's around, you know, what you know local place would be having a tour bus come through, and the roots were at Merriweather, and so nice. I drove over my car over to the Wendy's. And um, they were closed inside, but somehow somebody on the roots was able to get them to open up and uh, oh, wow. cook them up some food. I know they're open late, anyways. But anyways, I was I <laughs> got to walk like I kind of mingled a little bit through their entourage. I was like hanging out on the sidewalk, but I didn't really see anybody I know. But it was it felt a lot cooler than having you know paid for to go through a line and get an yeah. autograph at a booth, you know. Yeah. So it's, I don't know. It's more satisfying like when you discover. See, I've done a signing, and then, like, it was for Sugar Cult. I mean, they're one of my favorite artists, absolutely. They need to bring out another CD, like, now. Went to the signing, I met them, and then, like, an hour later, like, I didn't get to go behind the table to meet, have a picture with them or anything, but, like, an hour later, I saw him walking, I was like, holy shit. I was like, hey, Tim, and he remembered me because of the CD and all. I was like, oh, hey, man, what's up? Like, he, because I asked him an Elvis Costello question, because... I liked Elvis Costello. He liked Elvis Costello. He found he was like, some oh, common yeah. ground. He was like, sounds like a romantic comedy. He was yeah, like, he was like, you're the Elvis <laughs> Costello guy. I was like, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> and he was like, oh yeah, you want a picture? Cool. Still got it. You know, this is awesome. Those are, I think, those moments are so much more satisfying when they when they remember you. When they remember you. And then I flow out down. And LA when and they're they like me. organic, mm -hmm. not like yeah. I'm gonna stand here now and get a picture. Okay, now yeah. we're gonna shake hands, or, or now, and now you're gonna sign. It's very like scripted. With, like, but sometimes that's the only choice you have. Like if you it's ever want to meet, you know. Like I said, it. I think it yeah, depends on the person true. and who the artist <laughs> is, and all of those different factors that go into it. Um, I know for me personally, it would have to be the right band for the right price. You know. So you would things things if it was the right band and it wasn't too much, or I could afford it. Yeah, I probably would. So would you meet your heroes? I would at a cost. I would, so but that's would. that's not a blank check yes, to say uh, yes well, to that. Yeah. You know, but you drop, you know, a 
a lot. If, yes. If have to be. Okay. So you'd pay like a hundred bucks to see Brendan and I, is what you're saying? <laughs> I guess a lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. <laughs> yes, yes. Some dollars. So, yeah. That doesn't even pay for it. No, Would you guys pay to see your favorite band? Uh, or not say not to see them, but to meet to meet them, meet. And greet them. Would you want to meet your hero? You yeah. know, it's always scary. Because yeah. what if they're a total dick, and then you meet <laughs> them for your the rest of your life? <laughs> then you're traumatized, and you never want. To. Yeah, it's true. It reminds me of a song by Metric. You know, they they say, "Do you ever want to meet your heroes?" You know? Would you rather just envision you never them know. as a hero and leave it at that? There's that AWOL Nation song, "Kill Your Heroes." Oh, That's yeah. just mean. I don't know. The <laughs> Well, let us know what you think. Yeah, I'm curious. And give us a topic for next time. Give us some like some cool ideas, and we'll talk about it. So some hate you can take me for a You can break me now. That's okay. You take my love from me. You can see. Banto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to turn that off? <laughs>